Hello there, Seth here from Motorhome Dealer Group and welcome to this video guide on the Vertronic solar computer that you see here in front of us. Uh, this is very similar to their Charge Control S which has um, AC charging control and things like that. It will look a very similar panel but it will have slightly different labeling on the buttons here. If you have that particular panel then obviously check our video guide out for that particular device. This is the more simple purely solar panel monitoring panel uh, that they have here called the solar computer. Uh, in this video guide today we're going to show you how to use this uh, control panel, uh, how to interpret the information it's telling us so that you'll feel comfortable using this in your leisure vehicle. We're not going to be covering any troubleshooting or problem solving in this video so if you are experiencing issues with your unit then please consult your manuals or seek the help of a technical professional. This really is just a quick start video guide to get you up and running using this unit in your leisure vehicle. So let's get started. So as you can see, the panel comprises of a display here at the top and three buttons. And uh, it's a very simple panel to use, really. These buttons are going to cycle through some information that we can read on the display. This power button does serve a couple of different functions. If we interact with the panel, you'll see that the backlight is going to come on, uh, which uh, is going to then obviously illuminate the screen for easier reading. The power button, if you press that again, uh, it's going to uh, turn the backlight off. Sounds quite nice. Now, if you are on the voltage page, so the page that looks like this that says V here, uh, if I press and hold the power button for three seconds, then the word LED should appear. And now we can use these up or down arrows to change the brightness of the uh, backlight itself. So you can configure that to your liking and then set it by simply pressing the power button. And that's now saved that change. What you can also do is simultaneously hold the power button and press the up and down arrows and it changes the contrast of the uh, information as well, which is another handy feature. So you can tweak the uh, backlight and contrast to your liking. So let's start talking about what we see on the screen here. So at the top here, you can see uh, the sun symbol. Now, if this sun symbol is not present, then that means that solar power is not available. If you see a sun symbol and it is solid, then that means that solar power is available. And of course, your solar panel is going to be doing what it can to recharge your battery. If the solar, sorry, if the sun symbol is flashing like it is on this example, then that means that the battery is pretty much fully charged. So the, the solar panel is basically going to limit its output in order to prevent overcharging your battery, basically. Now we'll start talking about the other information we can show on the screen using these arrow buttons just here. So the first uh, page of information, as you can see here, is the battery voltage depicted with the V here. So that is the real time battery voltage. Then we have the real time amps being generated by the solar panels. This is the electrical current being generated by the solar panel in real time depicted in amps. And then we then have the total amount of amps that have been generated uh, over time. So this is, of course, going to show in amp hours, uh, as you can see here. Then we have the real time watts being generated by the solar panel and watts is a product of voltage and amps. And this will obviously uh, change in real time depending on the amount of electrical energy the solar panel is uh, able to generate. And in the same kind of way we had with the amps, we also have the running total of watts. So this will be depicted in watt hours or if it runs high enough into kilowatt hours. Um, now these totals can be reset as well, um, which I will show you how to do in just a moment. The next one we have then we're straight back round to the voltage. So that's the information that the solar panel can display. Now to reset those counters, what we do is we just simply go to um, the page here that has the counter you want to reset and press and hold for three seconds. One, two, and three. And as you can see, that is now reset. So we're at zero watt hours. If, if I go to the amp hours, I can reset this one as well. Press and hold. And that should then reset to zero amp hours. So now our counters are reset. And that is basically it for the Vertronic Solar Computer Control Panel. Hopefully you found this video useful. I'm Sev and thank you very much for watching.